Hi folks, now this is by no means going to be a full-on review of this knife. This is basically just a initial impressions, take a quick look at it, and compare it to the old. Now for starters, this is my original Pathfinder trade knife from Havilah's Bush Tools. Uh, love this knife, got it years ago, got it pretty much right after the video that Dave put out about it. So this is probably one of the first runs, I guess. Even have the, the old junky sheath that it came with. Uh, but you know what? Love, love, love this knife. I've, I've had it for years. I just absolutely beat it to pieces and it uh, just kept coming. Um, the only thing I changed about it was the edge, the edge itself. Because uh, all Habless Bush tools come with a pseudo Scandi grind, which is basically they take it to Scandi and then put a secondary bevel on it. Uh, I just took it down almost to a full Scandi and then convex the edge. Uh, so I guess it's a Scandi vex. Um, love this knife, but uh, apparently not just myself, but many of us had one problem with it and that was the handle. The handle is extremely small and I have just medium-sized hands and after carving or really hard push cuts with it, it's it really starts wearing on your hand, the handle being that small. So a lot of us were like, oh man, this knife would be so fantastic if only the handle was bigger. Well, guess what? Uh, Habilis heard our cries and guess what they come out with this this is the new and improved pathfinder trade knife now you can see with a comparison that they're very 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 similar the blade profiles are almost identical but the big part about it is this handle this handle leaps and bounds better <laughs> than this handle. You can see how much thicker it is. Way thicker. You can see this one. There's a palm swell on this one. Ab fantastic. Just for me personally, personally, this thing, it feels fantastic. It feels absolutely fantastic in my hand. It feels like it was made for my hands. Whereas, like I said, I love this knife, but, but this one, this one is, is, I have a feeling, like I said, this is brand new, practically brand new. The only thing I've done with it is, is struck a ferro rod just to make sure that it would work. So I think this is going to be a winner. Now, uh, some quick specs on it, if you don't know, is this is the Habilis, made by Habilis Pathfinder Trade Knife. It's sold through Wilderness Outfitters, that's Dave Canterbury School. Um, and it has a five inch handle, sorry, five inch blade. Uh, the blade is 1095 high carbon steel. There's my dogs acting crazy in the background. It has a G10 handles. Uh, there's a bow drill divot here. I believe it's nine and a half inches overall. And uh, there you can see it has that, that pseudo Scandi grind. Um, man, like I said, uh, right out of the box, just holding it feels great. It feels great. Uh, sheath, sheath that came with it is really nice too. It's got the Pathfinder logo on it. It's really, it's decent, stiff leather. Fits in there really good. It's not going to come out. Uh, it's not bad, not bad at all. Uh, for one more comparison, this is the Habilis Bush Tool. Now the Bush Tool is their flagship knife. And uh, what's really interesting comparing these two is you can clearly see the Habilis DNA here in the handles. They have the palm swell and the G10 handles. Uh, this is where it gets really bananas. Now, I, I love the Bush Tool. Bush Tool is great. It's fantastic. Look at this. The handle on the Pathfinder Trade Knife is actually even thicker than the Bush Tool. It's nuts. But I'm telling you, it, it for me, for me personally, it feels great. It feels absolutely spectacular. Um, so once again, this is not a review. This is just a quick showing you guys the difference between these two. 
Um, in the next coming weeks, I'm going to use this for ah, for everything. I'm going to do some some firecraft. I'm going to be whittling uh, one stick fire, probably. I'm going to be uh, cutting some vegetables, uh, making PB and J's for my kids. Everything with this knife. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to tell you how it's holding up and how well it does it and all that jazz. Thanks for watching.